Tomato Variety Preview 2024. I'll be planting approximately 100 plants, uh, 80 plus varieties. The reason I don't have the exact variety number is I'm doing some trials of some brand new varieties, doing some tomato breeding. So varieties might be closer to 100. We'll just have to see. And of course, just like last year, we'll do reviews of everything I'm able to catch at the perfect ripeness when I have time. One of my favorite categories, that's why I have quite a few of these, would be the pink tomatoes. They're just a little bit milder. There's, I don't know if, I wouldn't say they're less acid. Maybe the balance is different. Don't know. The only difference between pink and red is that if you peel the skin from a tomato that looks red or pink and you can't tell, a red tomato has a slightly yellow tinge to the skin, which gives it that typical tomato red. Whereas a pink tomato has a clear skin and the flesh shows through as more of a softer pink color. And that's basically the difference. So varieties here, we have pink ponderosa, stump of the world, a first for me this year. Always look forward to for that one. Striata rosea, first for me. This is from someone's names on it. I don't want to share their name. But it, this one is Chef's Choice Pink. Chef's Choice series is, uh, I believe they're hybrids, but they're always really, really, really good. German Pink. Greek Rose. Alpha Pink and Rose. And my gardener, I'm not sure if you're aware, um, the seed count is typical or lower than usual, but the prices are really good. I believe they're $2.25 per pack generally. So I've had good luck with them so far. There was one seed error last year. Their big rainbow was not big rainbow, but I sent them an email and I got a response real fast offering replacement seeds or a refund. And I took the refund because I didn't want the replacement seeds um, to be an error. So very happy with that experience. So I can recommend MI Gardener.